Hello, I'm Hartford HealthCare's Rebecca Stewart, connecting you to Healthier. When one man found out he needed a heart transplant, he had to investigate which hospital not only had experience with transplant, but which hospital could accommodate his very specific religious needs. His research led him to Hartford Hospital. How are you doing, Mr. Henry? I'm good, thank you. Feeling all right? I feel great. Jonathan Henry just came back from a biopsy to see how the heart transplanted just weeks ago is doing. Heart sounds wonderful. My heart had gotten bad enough to where all the other conventional medications were no longer, no longer working. He has ischemic cardiomyopathy. His heart was failing, and the only thing that could save his life was a heart transplant. Jonathan is also a Jehovah's Witness, and for religious reasons, he couldn't accept a blood transfusion. His would be what is called a bloodless transplant. And there are few hospitals across the country that can do this. It's nice to be able to deliver this life-saving therapy and respect the patient's wishes at the same time. I'm more than thankful. So now, as he recuperates, walking the halls of Hartford Hospital and healing, you'll often find a camera nearby. Well, outside of these walls, I do documentaries, filming, public relations. Jonathan Henry is in the process of producing a documentary about his experience and celebrating his team. I'm grateful that I was able to get the treatment that I needed to require to continue on in my life. The key to heart failure is that, that people don't walk away from saying heart failure, this terrible disease which is not treatable. Heart failure is treatable, end stage heart failure is treatable. But I've taken it upon myself because of my own profession to make sure others get a chance to find out that there are more than one option. If you'd like to learn more about bloodless medicine or about transplant or cardiovascular services, be sure to head to NBCConnecticut.com slash connect to healthier.